everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so in today's video for my summer segment that i'm going to have um taking place soon i'm going to be talking about classy upscale summer fragrances and I thought of this video because for me, usually in the summer, I'm super casual and I'm not, I'm trying to smell, you know, just chill. But there are times when you want to smell, like if you work year round, you're not off in the summer and you, you want to smell, you know, summery, but still not too casual. I think the ones I chose are a good fit. And I have quite a few here, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first one I'm going to talk about will be no surprise if you love watching fragrance videos, and that is Balenciaga's Flora Botanica. This is your green watery rose. And it's a sophisticated, fresh floral. You can wear this to brunch. You can wear this to work. You could just, you can wear this anytime. But I think this is a good summer fragrance that is still, it's not what I would categorize as super casual. Even though you could wear this casually, it has some classy upscaleness to it. Next, we're going to talk about Tiffany & Co. This perfume is soapy, powdery, and musky. And it just smells expensive. And I, whenever I would wear this, because usually I mostly wear this to work. Like if I have to go to a meeting sometimes, or if I just, you know, I feel like busting out some Tiffany & Company perfume, but it's usually at work when I'm wearing this and I've always received compliments with this and it's one that even in the summer, even though it's got that muskiness to it and the powderiness, it never felt too much in the summer. And I remember especially twice when I wore it in the summer going to work functions, I received compliments. Okay, next is Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is clean, salty, ocean breeze with woods. This is, oh, it's so good. It's casual, but elevated. And I know some people don't particularly think this fragrance is something special, but I don't know. When I first received my sample of this, and I smelled it, I was like, mm. and then I wore it and fell in love with it from that day on. And I just do, I think it's, you have some fragrances that smell good, but then you have some fragrances to me that smell of quality. And this is a fresh one that to me smells high end. You could wear it to work. You could wear, just wear it out and about in the summer. And to me, it gives you that effortlessly high-end quality of a scent, but it doesn't smell like you're doing the most either. Love this one. Now, this next one is Cartier Baiser Volet Le Rose. Now, this is one that I thought if you love the original, which to me smells like money, but I can't picture myself wearing that in the summer. To me, this is a perfect option because this is sweet, rosy floral and it's, it's lighter and more inviting than the original Baiser Volet. And that's why I think it would be perfect in the summer when you just want to feel, you know, you bust out that Cartier. This is a good one. Okay, next we have Dolce & Gabbana Pore Femme. And like this is your soft, sweet, raspberry, marshmallow, musk. It, this is one to wear 
if you want to smell sweet and womanly, but you don't want to go in too sweet because some women I know, they don't want to wear sweet fragrances in a professional setting. Or some people don't think sweet fragrances or are appropriate once you get a certain age. Well, this is one that to me is ageless, it's timeless because it is so soft. And it's not sickly sweet. It's a very soft, sweet marshmallow scent that smells like you could go and wear, you could wear this to the office and you wouldn't feel self-conscious, you, you know, cause some people would. This is one you wouldn't. And in the summer, just don't spray too heavily with this because of the neroli. And it's great in the summer too, when you wanna smell a little sweet, feminine, but still, you know, professional. Because this video to me is about, I'm saying classy upscale summer fragrances. Cause I'm thinking about if you're working all the time, but you still want that, you know, those su fun summer fragrances. And I think these are a good choice for that. All right, next we're going to talk about one of my favorites, and this is Roberto Cavalli Paradiso Azuro. This is your aromatic citrus floral aquatic woody fragrance. And I really smell that the jasmine in this. At first I wasn't getting it, but now I really smell it. This is what I would call your expensive, fresh fragrance with weight and depth. I remember when I first purchased this fragrance and I, I blind bought it and smelled it. And I was like, mm, you know, it's nothing special. And then one day I was going to work and I had, I can't remember, did I have a meeting or... I can't remember, but I wanted to smell fresh, but I didn't want to smell too casual. And I wore this and oh my goodness, that's what I was like, this is so good in the summer when you want to smell, you know, above light blue and beyond light blue intense even. This is what I would call your upscale fresh scent. I love this. It is so good. And of course, you can't talk about classy upscale fragrances without a Chanel fragrance. And this is Chanel Chance Au Vive. This is crisp, citrus, soapy musk. This is what I would call classy and approachable. You know, this is one you just smell timeless you know, what Chanel is known for. You could wear this to work, you could wear this out and about in the heat, it wouldn't be too much, you have an outside function. It's just a nice, classy, bright fragrance, love it. Next, we're going to talk about my first ever House of Siage fragrance, and that is Whispers of Time. Now this is your aromatic citrus bougie soap. And I put this one in here because to me there is always a time and it's always good to smell fresh, clean, and bougie. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? I love this. I know quite a few people who videos I've watched, they've gotten rid of this one or they didn't like it enough. And at first, I'm not gonna lie, when I first got this one, I was like, oh, so disappointed in the mystery ball. I was like, this one, when I smelled it, I was like, this is nothing special. But when I wore it, I fell in love with it. That's why I'm saying, y'all gotta wear your stuff so you'll know, cause you just can't go with smelling it from the bottle. You gotta put it on your skin, you know, dress yourself up, go out where you're going, get the full experience of the fragrance to really know how you feel about it. All right, to keep with the bougie fragrances, next is, of course, Delina. And, oh, 
this is tart, raspberry, powdery, sweet, but fresh. Incense, woody fragrance. Just any time you want to look and feel and smell like a beautiful woman, you just can't go wrong with Delina to me. You just can't. I just absolutely love this one. And again, maybe this is a theme with some of these niche fragrances. I perch, I blind bought this one and this was before the pandemic and all that. It was just, I had watched Jimmy Rawling rave about this so much that I blind bought it because I had some Nordstrom rewards, Nordstrom, whatever they're called. And I bought this and I smelled it. I was like, mm, it smells good, but it didn't like just blow my mind. And then I wore it and haven't gone back since. Love me some Delina. Okay, so next, this is a house that in one of my previous videos, I said that they all, this house always gives me the feeling of femininity and just womanly fragrances from their, this house. And this fragrance I'm gonna talk about today is Lancome's Idol. This is your modern rose scent. And this is one I have to spray on my skin and wear it. This is one just smelling it from the bottle. I am not blown away. I remember I had a sample in a magazine, you know, rubbed it on me. And I was like, oh, love it. Cause I was like, oh, I like Zendaya. Let me see what she's talking about. <laughs> yeah, this is a rose that won't offend anyone. It's modern, it's easy to wear. A little sweet, a little musky. And it gives me this the Versace Dylan Blue uh, Armani C Passione. But more professional than C Passione because that one, I like it. But this one to me, this gives me clean skin, shampoo, fresh from the shower with rosiness added with womanliness added. And the C. Passione gives me like fruity, extremely fruity shampoo. And so some women may not think that's classy or upscale, but this one, I think you could wear to work and feel confident and not be self-conscious about the, the scent you're emoting in the air because it is it has that fresh, clean shampoo, but that rosiness in there. And just what Lancome can do with their fragrances, I think it just, it's a little bit elevated than C. Passione, but I'm giving that as a reference. I'm sure everyone has probably smelled this already. I wore this to work and had women follow me around going, what are you wearing? And I couldn't even smell it. But it lasts a long time and it smells gorgeous in the air based on all the compliments I received at work that day. Next, we're going to talk about two fragrances from the house of Kaoli. And that is Kaoli Musk 12 and Citrus 8. Now, I put these two together because I think this would be a nice layering combo for the summer. Because these two layer together Oh my goodness, it gives you a pretty feminine, musky, citrus fragrance for summer. And of course you can wear these on, on their own, but together I think it's the perfect, sophisticated, musk citrus scent for summer for, um, for you to wear to work or just to wear out and about. I love this, those two together and separately. Next week, I'm gonna talk about the fragrance that I call the perfect brunching fragrance. And that is YSL Libre EDT. Almost said intense. This is your soft floral, lavender musky fragrance with a slight sweet tea scent also. You smell of quality, you smell ladylike. You know, you smell like some money. 
Hey, I must say, the why is a Libra line? You do smell like money. And yeah, it's classy, it's upscale. You can wear, like I said, when I smell this, I think of brunch. But you can wear this to work. You could wear this out to meet for brunch. You could wear this morning. You could wear this in the evening. It is very nice and like I just, it's extremely ladylike and feminine. That's what I get from this one. Okay, we're down to my last two fragrances. This is Elisab Le Parfum Resort Collection. Y'all, this is on the same line as that Roberto Cavalli Paradiso Azuro. I was not really impressed with this one. I liked it, but I wasn't in love. Then I wore it to work because I didn't want to smell too casual. So I said, I'm going to try this one out. It's so good. I get fruity, yacht, sophisticated, casual fragrance. And you might say, well, it's casual. So how are you saying you can wear it? It's classy and upscale. Honey, if you got a yacht, you you know you smell expensive <laughs> so that's what i get from this but it's not it's got that fruitiness in here i think it's pomegranate that just it it makes it fun but still very upscale and classy to me in the summer like these two right here blew my mind when i wore them to work because I just felt more, and this seems to be my favorite word in vi videos lately, elevated. Because when I would always think of summer fragrances, my first one would always be light blue. Still love it to this day. But if you're going to a meeting or something, you might want to smell citrus. You might want to smell a little fruity because it's summer, it's hot. But you still want to smell, you know, you want to smell classy. I do when I'm going to a meeting or something. I want to smell, I, I don't want to smell too fun, you know? And these are great for that. It's just enough not to be too much to me. So I love them both. And this one, if you have the original Elisab Le Parfum, th that's the one I'm at a board meeting and I mean business. This is the one, maybe it's casual Friday at work and you don't wanna smell like boss lady hardcore. This is perfect for that. That's, that's the best way I can explain it. So the last fragrance we have here is newer to my collection. I don't even know if I've shown this to you all yet. I can't remember. This is Alien Mirage. I absolutely adore this bottle. Now this fragrance is hard for me to describe. I'm gonna say that right now. But this is what I get. I get like a woody white floral and it's a mineral fragrance. It smells a little earthy. And I have a smoothness to it, but I get jasmine in this too. I can actually tell this is an alien flanker. Now this is one you don't want to overspray this because I, when I first smelled it in Ulta, I said, oh, this is light. It's kind of oceanic. No, that I don't know what was up with my nose in Ulta that day. That's why you got to get stuff at home too and smell it. When I wore this, I sprayed too much thinking it was going to be light. This, as all Mugler fragrances that I have worn in my collection and they have weight and depth. This is no different. This is, to me, still emotes. You know how people say alien is sexy? I get, like, power from this. It's not, to me, really feminine. It's, would I say unisex? I don't know, that jasmine comes through. I, maybe this could be, you. well, you know, you wear what you want, but maybe this could be unisex. Because I, I don't get soft woman from this. I get powerful even in the summer. <laughs> That's what I get from this. 
Like this might be the type of woman, it can be 100 degrees, she's still gonna be dressed in her power suit, button up tight, I mean business. And then just for a little fun, I'll just wear a little bit of Mirage to take me away from my usual heavy, heavy fragrance, but I'm still gonna be powerful in the summer. <laughs> this is what this gives me, because it's so different from what I remember smelling in Ulta. So you all, those were all of the classy upscale summer fragrances that I still think would work great for work or just any time in the summer. But especially I, I was going for, you know, those the professional women who maybe don't get a little summer vacation like I do, even though mine's not long enough. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what is your classy upscale fragrance that you gravitate towards in the summer. I would love to know. Please share this video with everyone who loves to look, feel, and smell fabu in the summer. And please turn on your notification bell so you will never, ever, 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 ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.